In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up to record in WavePad, and I'm also going to show you how to clean up your audio with a few tricks so it sounds nice and clean and it removes any background noise and other artifacts that you don't want in there. So I've got NCH WavePad opened and you can get the free version and this will do everything that you need. So to start off, we're going to go to new and create a new audio file. Then we can maximize it to make it full screen. And then next up, we're going to go into the options tab. If you don't see it, it'll be in the home or you can go into tools and it'll be there as well. And then we can go into the recording tab and we can choose our input device. Mine is line. Yours might be called something different depending on what audio interface you're using. I would highly recommend using a USB audio interface for best sound quality. I will leave a link to the ones that I use in the description. You should be able to see the volume meter pumping. If not, then make sure you've got your volume turned up on your audio interface. And then next, we can just hit record and we should start seeing our sounds coming through. When we're done, we just need to hit stop and it is done. So next, we can start cleaning up our sound. To do this, we can go and select a portion of the white noise in between our audio. So I can see these quieter bits are the white noise. So I'm going to select a portion of just the noise. So to get rid of this, we can go into the effects tab at the top and we can go to clean up and in the noise reduction tab, we want to go to grab noise sample from selected area. Now that we've done this, we can left click so we can unselect everything. And then we go to noise reduction and spectral subtraction based on noise sample. So this will subtract that noise that we selected from the whole clip. So now we can see it's got rid of all that. And if we want to get rid of any of these little clicks and pops that have been left behind, we can select them and press Ctrl and 0 on our keyboard. So I'm just going to go through and do that to the bits at the start, the end and in between. And now we should have a nice clean recording. And then when we're done, all we need to do is hit stop. We can also go into levels and equalizer and then we can adjust the frequencies of our recording so we can cut off the low frequencies or we can boost the highs or whatever we want to do to adjust the sound. We can add points by left clicking and remove points by right clicking. And then when we're finished, we can just go to file, save as. And for the best quality, we can stick with the default save type, which is a WAV file. And the default settings should be absolutely fine. If you do want a different format, you can go to File Save As and from the Save As type, you can choose whatever format you like.